Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is it. This is our last uh, content lesson of the semester. We may have a lesson next week where we'll talk a little bit about how the class went and how much work you guys did this semester, but today's the last lesson where we're gonna introduce something new and I thought we would do something totally new. So uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna introduce you to a new language. Um, you know, different programming languages have different strengths and weaknesses and they solve different problems and they expose you to different ideas about how to think about computational problem solving. Um, so for some of you, this is your first language. Uh, congratulations, you know a little bit of Java. You certainly don't know all of Java. Uh, that takes years and years and decades. And I would still say I don't know all of Java, but I know enough to be dangerous. Um, but today's lesson introduced you to do something new. Um, so there's active development going on in the language space. Uh, Java is an old language. It was developed a long time ago, and we've learned a lot about how to develop programming languages during those years. Um, and we have people that are applying that knowledge, those insights to new projects. So uh, today's lesson is about Kotlin. If you get interested in Kotlin, we have a whole set of lessons on Kotlin that mirror the ones that you've already done this semester. So if you decide over the summer that you know, you're a little bored and you miss CS125 and you want to learn some new stuff, uh, you can actually go all the way back to square one and relive the entire experience in a different language. Uh, and I would encourage you to do that because as you learn, as you continue your career in computer science and in technology, um, you're going to learn more than one language. It's just, it's going to happen. You're going to need to, you're going to have to solve a problem, you're going to need a language to perform a certain task and Java's not going to be the one. Um, so you're going to learn something new. So why not start today with a little bit of a taste um, and then if you want to continue on uh, with some of that. Obviously, you know, focus on the midterm first, get MP3 done. It's really something to think about for the future. So uh, speaking of MP3, good luck. Uh, that's due over the weekend. Please uh, don't delay. Get on the help site if you're uh, struggling to get those last few points. And then next Tuesday, so next Monday, we're gonna do midterm review all day. MP's behind us at that point. So the staff's gonna focus on midterm review on Monday in pretty much all of our uh, scheduled sessions. Uh, Tuesday is the final midterm. This is it. Um, and then on Wednesday, we're done. Um, I may post a lesson next week, again, with some stats and some information about uh, all the work that you did over the semester. But on some level, you know, we've, we're at the end of the road. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Uh, I will see you at the bottom.